what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i haven't had a chance to make a video on the topic so this is going to be my first video regarding the 2018 news that's been coming out about the child's play remake they just started production on the film um earlier this week they have they have their full cast everybody's been casted they have their uh new andy they have the new karen they have the new detective norris they have all of those main uh components that were a factor in the original film that came out in 1988 from mgm because mgm is the one that's doing this remake all these years later now as well uh my official thought is that i do not personally i don't personally mind the remake anymore i was hesitant but looking at it from a non from an unbiased perspective i will say i can't i can't deny this this is probably going to be uh, the most successful that the Chucky franchise is going to be in a long time in terms of making box office revenue because the last two films went straight to DVD Curse of Chucky from 2013 and Cult of Chucky from last year in 2017 they both went straight to DVD and they made a total of six to seven million dollars combined probably even less uh, they weren't I want to say Curse of Chucky was actually received pretty well, and then Don Mancini started showing those those uh, seed of Chucky habits again in Cult of Chucky, and then that was not as great as what that was not as good or even near as good as what we had gotten in Curse of Chucky. So Curse of Chucky gave us some hope of a potential uh, successful path for the straight to DVD platform for the Chucky series to be continued and then Don Mancini came out with Cult to Chucky last year and that was not on par with what we got in Curse of Chucky so with this new remake I hope that uh I hope I'm not gonna say I hope it does well I just hope that this at least makes Chucky relevant again um if the movie ends up being bad of course i'm going to give my official review on it i am going to review it fairly and criticize it for what it is i'm going to point out what i liked and what i did not like because i do plan to go see the remake when it hits theaters uh i think mgm is not out of line for doing this at all i was hesitant at first but i think what mgm wants to do is they want to try to revitalize and make and uh make up for the mess that don mancini has done because don mancini has since he's taken over the child play series did go down i can't i can't really deny that the child play series did go down he tried to bring it back up with curse of chucky and he was doing he was doing fine and then he started to get back into the old habits from seed of chucky and cult of chucky and that's not that's not something i was a big fan of uh, chucky has been with us for several years chucky has been around since the late night the late 80s he's he was a a big factor in the 90s the early 90s in the late 90s then the early 2000s and then he was gone after seed of chucky then he was present again for the two films that came out in the uh early 2010s and then last year's cult to chucky uh tiffany we were introduced to tiffany his bride we were introduced to andy barkley who was the start of all this stuff andy barkley received the doll as a birthday present when he was only six years old uh, that's where the terror began and that's where most of the people who are a fan of the series that's where our love for Chucky and the series began uh, we met several characters beloved characters we have Kyle Kyle from Child's Play 2 everyone loves Kyle Kyle actually returned in the last film um, who else do we have there was another character that we got to know I don't want to say this is a love character but Glenn the son or the offspring of Chucky I don't know if this is a boy or a girl I think Chuck I think it's Glenn or Glenda I think they have a split personality that's another character we were introduced to that was one of the other ridiculous aspects of Seed of Chucky um, just a lot of stuff we've been through a lot of stuff with Chucky in this series this series has not always this series is not something I would consider Oscar worthy at all if I were to be give an honest opinion on the series because I do love this series but I'm not gonna um, act like it's not act like it's not without flaws uh, I would consider this series to be at least a subpar a subpar uh, horror series for the most part it started off strong and then you know got a bit rocky and then it hasn't been able really to get back up it had like a pit stop if a pit stop if you will with a uh, curse of Chucky that seemed to show uh, a chance to go back to its roots and then Don Mancini went back to the things that were everyone had a problem with in Cult of Chucky I mean in Seed of Chucky and in the new Cult of Chucky there was a lot of I I couldn't help but still 
think of Seed of Chucky. It had too many Seed of Chucky elements to it. It felt too comical. It didn't feel like it was being taken seriously. Um, and that film actually leaked early. Cults of Chucky, if I'm not mistaken, leaked early. Uh, so that I think that also played into the fact of MGM stepping in and saying, hey, we're going to do something about this right now. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Chucky series. The cast for the remake has been revealed. Everyone for the everyone for the Child's Play remake has been cast, and I I honestly think they're going to do an amazing job. I don't think anyone here is going to uh, going to necessarily suck. I mean, the film itself as a whole could ultimately suck, but I do not see I do not see anything. Uh, I do not see this remake as an overall negative thing. I just think it's not going to. I don't think it's going to be nearly as good as the original. But I will say I do have I do have like a slight suspicion that it'll probably end up being one of the better Chucky sequels that we've gotten in recent memory. Um, Don Mancini has expressed his his hatred for the remake of To Each His Own. I, I don't know why Don Mancini is so. I, I mean, I understand to an extent, but Don Mancini hasn't really been hasn't really been doing the franchise any favors, so that's my honest opinion. Um, the cast for the film, or let me first talk about who the film is being written by. The film is written by Tyler Burton Smith. Uh, MGM has gotten him to write the film, and. Apparently, it's going to have the same premise. So Andy Barkley is going to be getting the getting the doll. It's going to be it's going to be possessed. I don't think I don't actually think this one's going to be possessed. And another thing about this remake, Brad Dorf, he will not be he will not be returning for this film. So Brad Dorf is not going to be voicing Chucky. I don't think we've even found out who is going to be voicing Chucky yet. So that's another downside to the remake. I know everyone when you hear think of Chucky. You instantly think of uh, Brad Dorf, so that was one of my cons headed into the remake. Brad Dorf sadly will not be returning, but for everyone who's a who's a uh, fan of what the series has become with Don Mancini, as I I am not a, a fan of what the series has become, but I am still a fan of that narrative being told by Don Mancini, and uh, we're still going to get a continuation of that in television form. Don Mancini plans to do a TV series for it, but the cast for uh, the remake is as follows. Aubrey Plaza is going to be playing Karen. Uh, Brian... Brian Tyree Henry and Gabriel, Gabriel Bateman. They both will, res will respectively be playing Detective Norris and uh bateman is going to be playing andy andy barkley uh but yes that is the news i have on the child's play remake if you are looking forward to this or if you're not let me know why down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button also in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future on the channel also keep keep in mind that i am going to be having a jam-packed october coming up with a lot of horror reviews with all that in mind guys i'll see you in the next video